Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another English class. My name is Diego Patronine, and for today's class, we're going to be talking about to make questions about quantity. All right, guys? That is our topic, to make questions about quantity. But before starting the class, guys, I would like to tell you, as usual, that participation in class is very important. So the more you participate, the better, the funnier the class is, all right, guys? So remember Nicolas, say hello, Nicolas. Hello. Nicolas is right there, reading your comments, reading your participation. If you guys uh, have questions, just write, okay? Nicolas is just right there for you. So, so let's start, okay? So I'm going to make first, guys, like a remind, I'm going to remind, uh, I'm going to remind you, yeah, I'm going to remind you about last class topic and it was about uh, how to express quantity. So you guys learned some expressions like some and any, right? So remember that some is used for countable and uncountable nouns and any was also used for countable and uncountable nouns, okay? But the difference between Sam and Amy is that you guys use Sam for positive statements, but you use um, any for negative statements, okay? So you got ideas or something, Nicolas? Yep. No, una explanación para Okay, good, go. Hola chicos, ¿cómo van? Eh, chicos, por favor, recuerden que nosotros estamos teniendo en cuenta la asistencia y la participación para darles unos puntos. Si no participan, eh, por más que estén conectados, es como si no estuvieran asistiendo porque pues la idea es que participen, que hay sus ejemplos, sugerencias, todo esto, ¿vale chicos? Entonces, por favor, super pendientes con eso. That's right. Actually, guys, today in class we're going to have, uh, we're going to have like a, an activity where you can get points, okay? So, if you participate, if you answer correct, if you guys answer correctly, you guys can get one point, okay? And if you participate, but you may not get the right answer, you guys also get at least one point, okay? So, participation, as you see, is very important. Yeah, Nicolas? Tenemos un comentario de John. Yep. Eh, teacher, good outfit. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. Um, more comments? Mm, hi, hello. No more. Okay, good. Okay, so let's start. So, as I told you guys, today we're going to learn how to make questions about quantity. So, to make questions about quantity, remember that we have been talking about countable and uncountable nouns. So, there are expressions for countable and uncountable nouns that you have to use to make a question. So, let's see. Uh, for on this side, we, you guys have how many. Good. And on this side, you guys have how much? You see how many and how much? So you guys use these expressions for countable nouns, right? I'm going to write it here. So for countable nouns. Remember, as I have said, yeah, uh, I have, I have, as I have said in previous classes, countable nouns are those nouns or things we can count with our fingers. So we can say uh, two, three, four, okay? Or we can say some. On the other side, you guys have how much. You use how much to ask for quantity, okay? About uncountable. nouns you see that so in that case the expression you use depends on the noun you ask asking about for example look how many how many sisters do you have Nicolas Mm, so yeah. That question is for you, okay? Guys, I'm going to ask 
me class this question, okay? And he's going to answer, okay? Using all the expressions that you have learned in class because Nicholas is also learning and I'm pretty sure he knows the answer. Nicholas, how many sisters do you have? Mm, I have one sister. Good. I have one sister. I have one sister. Very good, Nicholas. So, as you see here, guys, in this question, we're asking about the number or the quantity of sisters. So, sisters, sister, that's a countable noun. For that reason, I use how many to ask. How many sisters do you have? And he says, I have one sister. He has one sister. So, I use one, okay, because I can count the sisters in case, in the case of Nicholas, if he had more than one sister, so he could say, I have some sisters, or I have three, or the exact number of sisters he has, okay? So, let's continue. On the other side, guys, we've got how much, and for uncountable nouns. So, I'm going to ask a question the same for Nicholas, okay? And he's going to ask. Uh, let's use another color. Nicholas, this question is for you. How much money do you spend in a day? Mm, like 10,000 pesos. Right. Okay. So he says, I spend, I spend, how much, sorry? Uh, 10,000. 10,000 pesos, right? Good. So, Nic uh, Nicholas, he spends 10,000 pesos per day, okay? In a day. So, here in this question, how much money, you use how much because in English, the word money is uncountable, okay? I can't count the money. I mean, right, I can say, 1,000, 2,000, but the money, in fact, is non-countable, okay? It's uncountable. You get questions or answers or comments? Mm, no intervención, profe. Yeah. Eh, bueno, chicos, concuerdo con un par de personas que ya les han dicho algo ahí por el chat, y pues es que la idea es que ahorita sí estén súper atentos a la clase, entonces, por favor, pues los otro, el otro tipo de comentarios que pues saben a lo que me refiero, por favor, eh, no hacerlos concentraditos en la clase, ¿vale? What are you talking about? Eh, ya te digo. Que los negros son más altos, más fuertes y más graciosos y más pros. No sé, no sé en qué momento salieron con, con ese tema. Alright guys, look, the chat is only for participating about the class, okay? Guys, please focus on the class. If you focus on the class, if you pay attention, you guys can participate and improve your English. That's what you are here for, to learn English. So please avoid, eviten hacer comentarios de cualquier tipo que no estén relacionados con la clase, ¿vale? Es un chat meramente académico para aprender, para hacer preguntas, para participar, por, por supuesto, pero si empezamos a distraer a los demás o hacer comentarios diferentes sobre so, un tema diferente a la clase, entonces creo que no está bien, ¿ok? So, please focus on the class, you guys, so to improve your English. That's why we are here, ¿ok? So, yeah. Ahora sí tenemos participaciones. Good. Natalia, how many brothers do you have? Very good. How many brothers do you have? So, you use how many because brothers, they are countable. So, you say one, two, three, I don't know, some brothers, ¿ok? 
That's very good. You got more? Yes. Valentina, how many classes do you have to teach Paterina teacher? Very good question. How many classes do you have to teach? Okay, in a day? Alright, that's a good question. How many classes do you have to teach in a day? Per day? Um, I don't know, like a lot of classes. Because in the morning I work uh, in another place, so I have to teach English and I give like many classes. I give, I teach many classes. You see my answer? I teach many classes. Good question. More? Yes. Mm, you said. So. How many friends do you have? Oops. Okay. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends. Okay. Very good. So that's a good question. I have a lot of friends. That's another question, and the answer is I a lot of friends. A lot of, okay? That's a good expression, a lot of. So you use a lot of when you guys work comfortable and comfortable nails to express a huge quantity, okay? A lot of. So I have a lot of friends, I think. More? Yes. Astrid, how much does the copy cost? Very good. How much does it cost? How much does the coffee co cost? Very good. That's perfect. Yes. I don't know. Then you provide a price. Yeah. Mm. Valentina. I think I'm going to turn on the lights, right? Okay. Better? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Mm. Ay, no me Se me perdió esto. Qué pena. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so while you just get the answers, I will continue, okay? So guys, look. So I told you that we use how much, how much money do you spend? He says he spends 10,000 pesos. That's good, okay? Now, we also use how much to ask for a price. For example, how much is your cell phone? That's a good question. So how much is your cell phone? Or I can ask how much Does your cell phone cost? You see that? How much is your cell phone and how much does your cell phone cost? Okay, that's good. You see, guys? So, two ways to ask the same question to ask for a price. How much is your cell phone? and how much does your cell phone cost. So every time you guys ask for a price, you use how much. Two ways, you use the verb to be or just use the verb cost. So how much is your cell phone or how much does your cell phone cost. Nicolas, how much is your cell phone? Mm, like... It is... Yeah? It is... How much? Mm, okay. A 700... Thousand pesos. Okay, seven hundred thousand pesos. Okay, good. All right, good. You got more examples? Yes. Mm, Valentina, how much did your pro Patalina jacket cost you? One more time. How much did, did your pro Patalina jacket cost you? Okay, so the question goes, teacher, how much? is your jacket or how much is your jacket or how much does your jacket cost one more time teacher how much is your jacket or how much does your jacket cost mm, it is this is uh, 
like 100,000 pesos, I think. Yeah, I don't remember actually, but it's around 100,000 pesos, okay? Good, good question. Natalia Montes, how many pets do you have? All right, listen to me, that's a good question. Okay, how many pets? Pets are countable, so how many pets do you have? Uh, I don't have any pets, okay? I don't have any pets. So if you remember, guys, it is any for I don't have, okay, I don't have any pet, right? Yo. Okay. Actually, okay, not here, don't here, I don't have pets here, but here in Bogota, but I have, I got a pet at home, I mean, in another city. So I don't know how to answer that question. Maybe, yes, I got one pet, okay? Yeah. Mm, okay. Dana, how old is she? How old is she? That question is not related to the topic. So ask another thing, please. Lina, how many jackets do you have? How many jackets do you have? Um, I have some jackets. Good? Yes? Yes. No more? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Bradley, how many houses do you have? How many houses do you have? Uh, I don't have houses. Sorry. Bradley, ah, well, do you have? Yes. Mm, Dana, how much does the White House cost? Uh, I have no idea, but that's a, that's a good question. How much does the White House cost? Okay. Natalia, how many cars do you have? Good, I don't have cars. Astrid, how many relatives do you have? Uh, I have many relatives. Bridget, how much do you spend in the school? How much do you spend in the school? Very good. So I spend like eight hours in the school. Mm, Valentina, how many uncles do you have? How many uncles do I have? I I have many uncles. I don't know the number. So many uncles. Some uncles. Yes, Trin, how many songs do you have downloaded, downloaded on your cell phone? Okay, how many songs do you have downloaded on your cell phone? Mm -hmm. I don't know, like a lot of songs? A lot of songs? Okay. More? Yes. Valentina, how many friends do you have? I have a lot of friends, yeah. Mm, Lina, how many water do you drink a day? Good. That question is not good, okay? That's for him. Because water, guys, who said that? Nicolas, who said that? Uh, Lina. Lina, Lina, your question is not good. How many water do you drink per day? That's not good. Because water, as I told you in the previous classes, water is an uncountable noun. So for uncountable nouns, you use how much. So your question would go like, uh, how much water do you drink? That's different, okay? So please correct. Una aclaración de una pregunta anterior. Valentina quiere decir, how much did did your Patronina teacher jacket cost? Uh -huh. Okay, pero esa, esa, okay, esa pregunta creo que la corregí utilizando esa estructura, porque la estructura que, que no dijo, perdón, sorry. Eh, Valentina. Okay, because Valentina, you are using not a good structure to make a question, okay? So try to follow this structure. Uh, for ask, okay, if you want to ask about the price, if you want to ask about the price, you use how much, I use the verb to be or the verb cost. If you use the verb cost, you use that, okay? Or yeah, or do. And if you use the verb to be, if you use the verb to be, so then you got it, okay? So that's it. Okay. 
Okay, how much is this bunch of roses? Okay, good. How much is this bunch of flowers, roses? Uh, Benjamin, how many brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? Good, that question was already asked. Astrid, how much does England's clothes cost? How much does England... Okay, how much does an England clothes cost? Okay, I have an idea. Mm. Natalia, how many games do you have? I don't have games. Valentina, how many cousins do you have? I have a lot of friends, or of cousins, cousins, sorry. Brigitte, how much is this, okay, bunch of roses? Okay. Valentina, how many grandparents do you have? I don't have grandparents. <laughs> Uh, Carmen, what they talk about in classes? Sorry? What they talk about in class? And the topic is how to make questions about quantity? No well, more? Yes, Valentina, how many books do you have? How many? Books. Books do you have? Okay, good, I have many books. Mm. Luis Hernando, how many pencils? Do you have? How many pencils do you have? Um, I think many pencils. Uh, Simon, my father has to find out the cost of a new cell phone. And eso no tiene que ver con la clase. Okay. Remember, make questions using okay, make questions about quantity using how many or how much. Okay. Bridget, how many people will come? How many people will come? Very good, excellent. Uh, Bradley, how much sugar do you eat? Sugar? Daily. How much sugar? Very good question because sugar is uncountable. So, how much sugar do you use in a day or? Yeah, you eat. Mm, I have no idea, like a lot of sugar because I put sugar. Uh, I put sugar to my coffee, so I think a lot of. Vale. Mm. <coughs> Perdón. Don't worry. Valentina, how many toys do you have? <laughs> I don't have toys. Okay, so now, stop here. Okay, okay stop there. So now, guys, what's the idea? We go, we go now for the points. Okay, Nicolas? We go for the points. What's the idea? I'm going to write some questions on the board, but these questions, okay. You have to complete these questions using how much or how many, all right? Or, no, just like that. You have to fill, or you have to complete the sentence, the question, sorry, with how much or how many. Remember that it depends on if it is uncountable or countable, okay? So let's go. I got the question on my cell phone and one question is okay. Teacher? Yeah? Eh, Poder leyendo los otros ejemplos. Yeah? yeah. Vale. Entonces. Uh, Bridget, how many students are in the classroom? Mm, Valentina, how many sweets do you eat? 
Astrid, how much does the passport cost in Colombia? Mm, Natalia, how many girlfriends do you have? Mm, Valentina, how much vegetable do you eat daily? Uh, Bradley, how many hours do you stay at work? Brigitte, how many cups of milk do you use for this receipt? Carmen, how many hours do you study at work? Stay at work. Benjamin, how many parks have you visited? visited. Valentina, how many hours do you study? Carmen, how many cups of do you study? Mm -hmm. Brigitte, how much do you miss her? <laughs> how much do you miss me? Very good, excellent. Or her, or he. Uh, Valentina, how many hours do you sleep, sleep at night? Good. Uh, Carmen, how many hours do you study? Carmen, how many hours do you sleep at night? Brigitte, how much chocolate do you let them eat? Giselle, how much coffee is there? Natalia, how many movies do you have? Brigitte, how much money do you need? Carmen, how many countries have you decided? Valentina, how many times a day do you drink water? Benjamin, how many girlfriends have you decided? Excellent. How many, look at this question. How many assistants are there? Mm. How many assistants are there? Yeah, there you go. You see that question? How many people are there in class? Mm, in this class, is 24 assistants. There are 24 there assistants, are very good, excellent, okay? So guys, on the board, I, I, I have some questions, okay? But you guys have to complete these questions with how many or how much, okay? So remember, four points, the first person who answered the question, okay, the first person who answers the question gets the point, okay? So, let's go. Ya. Yeah. Eh, pues para bueno, espero que contesten eso de ya les digo algo. Bueno. Señor. Ah, pues chicos. Ya, yeah, go go. Okay. Say it. Eh, chicos, qué pena con los ejemplos que no alcanza a leer, pero pues están participando artísimo, lo cual es muy bueno. Entonces, pues no es que no los hayamos querido leer, solo que pues para no generar tanto la clase, pues nos paramos ahí, ¿vale? Pero muchas gracias. En serio, muchísimos ejemplos. Okay, so remember, four points, complete these questions. Eh, teacher, Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin. Eh, la respuesta a la pregunta uno es, how many stars are there in the sky? Very good. How many stars are there in the sky? Excellent. How many? Good. How many? Because you use how many because stars that is countable. Okay, second one. Number two, be attentive, okay, to the answers. Number two, mm, 
species of birds are there in Colombia. Species of birds are there in Colombia. So you guys remember, you use how many or how much? Valentina, how many species of birds are there in Colombia? Okay. How many species? Excellent. How many species of birds are there in Colombia? Very good. Okay, continue. What? Number three. Uh, Number three. Information is on the internet. Information is on the internet. So complete with how many or how much? No, es que están contestando las antes. Hay una relación con sí. The number three. Okay, no, la tercera no la he contestado. Ah, es la primera persona. Benjamin, how much information is on the internet? Very good. How much information? How much information is on the internet? ¿Cuánta información hay en la internet? So, how much information? So, information, information is uncountable. Guys, I can't count the information, okay? So, that's uncountable and I use how much for asking about it, okay? Yeah. Eh, profe, hay personas que le contestaron la cuarta y la quinta. Lo tengo en cuenta solo a partir de ahora. Por la yeah. Yeah. Vale. Number four, right? So, bread have you eaten? How much or how many bread have you eaten? Completely and the questions, right? Natalia, how yeah. many? How many? How many breaks have you eaten? No, that's wrong. <laughs> what? You're making faces. <laughs> Astrid, uh, how much? Bring it. How much? Excellent. How much? Guys, remember, I've read that. An uncountable noun, no uncountable noun, okay? So you use how much to ask about it. So how much bread have you eaten? Good, continue. Number five. Tea do you want? That tea do you have? Do how, you want? how many? How many? That's not good. That's right. So the first person. Uh, John, how much? Very good, how much? Okay, but you have to, okay, uh, Nicholas, you have to, you have to uh, take into account that people, I mean, only people that write the whole answer, okay, the whole okay. question, just not how many or how much, because okay. it doesn't make sense, okay? But. So the person has to write the whole question to get a point, okay? okay. So how much? Very good, so how much? How much tea do you have? Do you want? So tea, that is an uncountable noun. So it is how much tea do you want? Cuanto te quieres tomar? Okay, cuanto te quieres. Okay, guys. So let's go with a uh, to, let's go with a couple of questions. Okay, more questions, and you guys can complete. Are you taking into account the names of people participating? Yes. Okay, good.
All right, so let's go with more. Okay. Ok chicos, porfa, recuerden que solo estamos teniendo en cuenta las participaciones de los que contestan luego de que el profe pregunta porque pues ahorita en, en la actividad anterior pues se dieron cuenta de que algunas personas arrancaron respondiendo la cuarta, la quinta pregunta y pues no es la idea, ¿vale? La idea es que vayamos eh, de acuerdo con cómo va el profe entonces si él nos está preguntando por la primera, contestemos la primera, ¿vale? Entonces pues... You, no, may, you may put like something, an, 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 an emoji Maybe. Ok. To cover. Vale, vale. Listo, chicos. Entonces, pues, precisamente para evitar eso, vamos a cubrir las otras preguntas, ¿ok? Okay, guys, listen to me. So, to five minutes for this, okay? Five minutes. So, here, guys, I'm, I'm getting, I wanted to make it difficult, more difficult. So, here, guys, you have to write the correct noun according to the question, okay? You have to write the right noun according to the question. So, you guys have how much? How many? And here you guys write the noun, okay? It's giving a noun according to the context of the question, okay? So let's go. Number one is Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Number one. How much now do you have in the bank? How many now live in Colombia? Teacher. How much? Yep. Bradley, how much money do you have in the bank? Very good. Excellent. How much money? Very good. Excellent. So money is uncountable. You use how much? How much money do you have in the bank? Good. Second one. Hurry up, guys. Do you still have the emoji there? Yes. Why? Put it away. Para cubrir las... The other ones? No, just... Don't worry. Remove the emoji. Yes. And check it away. Okay. Okay, so number two. How many live in Colombia? Number two. Now, 
No, no. Okay. Eh, a street people. How many people live in Colombia? Very good, excellent. How many people live in Colombia? Excellent. The next one. How much do you drink? How much do you drink? What's the name? How much do you drink? Write it down. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Uh, John, how much water do you drink? Perfect. How much water do you drink? Very good. The next one. How many have you read? How many have you read? Okay. Uh, John, how many books have you read? Perfect. How many books have you read? How many books have you read? Good. And the last one is, how much do you need for the cake? How much now do you need for the cake? The cake is like, um, for example, when it's your birthday, you normally get a cake, okay? Where you put the candle, you blow it up. Okay, so that is the cake. Valentina, sugar. How many sugar do you need for the cake? Very good, excellent. Very good, guys. That's it, okay? So that was the, cla the class about remember. So you learned how to make questions about quantity. So you use how many for countable nouns as people and I use how much for uncountable nouns like money, water and sugar, okay? So thank you guys for your participation. See you tomorrow, okay? And that's it, bye bye. Eh, ok, hola chicos, eh, muchas gracias por su participación, por los ejemplos, de verdad que fueron muchísimos, eso pues es súper bueno porque pues como se dan cuenta hace que la clase vaya fluyendo, ¿vale? Eh, chicos, dos cositas, la primera por favor hacer un llamado al respeto porque pues ahí en el chat algunas personas estaban siendo groseras con otras y pues no es lo que, no es lo que esperamos, ¿vale? Recuerden que es súper académico y el respeto es esencial, entonces por favor, esos comentarios que estaban haciendo, nada de eso, ¿vale? Ahora, eh, lo otro, lo del cronograma chicos. Eh, recuerden que todos los lunes tenemos monitorías de 2 de la tarde a 5 de la tarde Tutorías de 6 de la tarde a 7 de la noche Y los talleres de formación de 9 de la mañana hasta el mediodía, ¿vale? Eh, chicos, finalmente, la hoja de ruta eh, vas, la van a cargar hoy Y ustedes la van a poder encontrar en la plataforma el día de mañana Entonces, para que por favor estén súper pendientes eh, Recuerden, si tienen algún inconveniente, pues me pueden escribir O también se pueden comunicar con la institución, ¿vale? Entonces, pues no siendo más, chicos, eh, que tengan una feliz noche y nos vemos mañana.